a few words about Dr. James. PNG for me came into my life in mid 1980s when we first set up Powerful Business Center. We had long discussions about building an underground tank which was insulated for chilled water, uh, making ducts which were larger sizes for free cooling, etc., which were not relevant at that time, <clears throat> but we together thought that they will be relevant in the future. There would be time of day metering, etc., which have come true. At that time, what is very important is my father-in-law, late Mr. Mahindra Swaru, showed implicit trust in him and said that he would decide as to whom we should place an order for the HVAC system of the building would be Dr. James' responsibility, and he would not be involved at all. I remembered the words trust and connected. This word was connected to him. So that was my own experience starting in 1980s. We spent an enormous amount of time together in 2007, 2008, when we had conceptualized the world's most energy efficient building to be known as green spaces. This particular project was supported by President Bush at that time from the White House. And because of his support, Overseas Private Investment Corporation decided to give us all the debt of about $125 million at very low interest rates. And we practically built that building virtually, uh, but at the end, uh, end of the tunnel, uh, the, there was a financial uh, crisis in the US in November, December, October, November of 2008, and the private equity fund, which was involved, said that they would not invest any money anywhere in the world, and so the fund got off track, and we still have the land, but not the building. In fact, we have had a metro station on site. Uh, Mr. Mangu Singh, who's still the chairman, agreed to provide that to have direct access into the building like what you have in Hong Kong. So Dr. Jane worked very, very closely. And we had a PMC, which was DLL, and the managing director of that particular unit came back and said, I don't think I had any value because you have the managing director of a company knowledgeable working with you. So why am, what am I doing here? I'm wasting my time. Uh, right. Because he's a project manager in that sense. Any striking, is, any striking single memory that you have? I mean, we have so many more people to share, so I have to sort of step in here. Yeah. 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 He was a very humble person who listened a lot and spoke softly and words of wisdom. Right. It greatly encouraged me to try out new ideas mm -hmm. and supported me in taking risks and making move towards perfection in the area of energy efficiency and IEQ right. by thinking out of the box, saying right. that so not only what you read, but sure. you have to use your own common sense in terms of what you do. Right. He had an enormous influence in the thinking of our son, Samir, who attended his lectures and on Baron, our son-in-law, who was inspired by him. So it spans three generations, yeah. To teach a class at the Delhi School of Planning and Architecture in indoor air quality. So he went and took all these classes and he said, that's only when you'll be challenged by <laughs> the senior students and you'll have to answer them. Yeah. So that was like learning and right. deep learning. Okay. Uh, as a family, I would say we are building a new IGBC certified green home in New Delhi. And he said that he would take the, he would, he would provide the guidance and responsibility for it. And as if it were going to be his own home. And I need not worry about it. Without his guidance, we've had immense issues because he had a lot of confusion. And now his disciple, who is Ashish Rakeja, has Sorry. kindly agreed to help us out. <laughs> The wonderful. family, I would say, we miss his presence even today. Wow, wonderful. 